Hey folks, I'm a nerdy old gamer, or Nog for short, and today we're starting a brand new series on the channel. We're going to be playing some Space Engineers, and if you don't know Space Engineers, basically you have to build to survive and to travel around uh, on different planets and in space. So we are going to start a new game, and we're going to start a custom game in the star system here and we'll just call it YouTube series one and we'll be playing in survival and we will be playing with quite a few mods and we will just add all the mods and just remove this one because it's been retired and just to mention some of the more prominent mods that we're playing we're going to be playing with We'll be adding uh, air traffic and uh, installa ground installations that are our enemies. We'll be adding uh, several different uh, aerial enemies, both uh, on land and in space, or on planets and in space. And we'll also be adding the daily needs survival, which means that we will need to uh, get food and uh, water and rest. So, yeah. Let's say OK to that, and then we'll go into Advanced. And I'm going to increase the inventory sizes, both for ourselves and the blocks, because limiting them doesn't really make the game harder, it just makes it slower. So we'll speed up everything here. We will set normal environment hostility, and we'll have high density of asteroids. Realistic sounds, and we'll unlimit the blocks because we don't want to limit ourselves. And let's see, we'll enable spectator, and we'll enable in game scripts, and we'll enable wolves. Uh, there's drones now as well, that's something that was added very recently uh, in a patch that came out a couple of days ago, I guess. And anything else? I think that's it. Okay, so we'll start the game and then I'll see you when we are falling towards the ground. We'll be starting on the Earth-like planet. So we'll be in an Earth-like drop pod when I come back. All right, so here we are falling towards Earth in our drop pod. We have a nice lake over there, which is a lot of ice because the lakes are frozen over here. And the terrain looks pretty decent. It might be a bit of a rough landing though. Hmm. I hope we land okay. And we do. Excellent. All right. So here we are. That's us and we look like that for right now and let's get started shall we first of things first get our rifle and ammo out of the seat here because we are gonna get attacked eventually so don't want to forget about those things all right then we'll start grinding down our drop pod here at least some of it for now we need some of the functionalities in it but all of these parts on the sides here we don't really need so we might as well grind them down and get some materials to use so there oops that could have been dangerous hitting the wrong stuff Okay. All right. So oh, there's more up here that we don't need right now. All right. So here we have our H2O2 generator, and we're going to pick up our uh, hydrogen canister here, which we need for our jetpack. 
And then in here we have our survival kit and we can stick some of this stuff in there now. Or what? Why won't it go in? There we go. And the rest won't go in there because the survival kit can't produce these things or these large steel tubes or the metal grids so we can't stick them in there either. Now we need to start drilling pretty fast here and get some stone going. And I hope this drill isn't too loud. I know that it is quite loud often, but if it's too loud let me know and I'll see if I can figure out how to turn it down because it can be quite hard on the ears so we'll pick up as much stone as we can carry and start that producing and that will give us some uh, some iron some nickel and some silicon which all are materials that we need it will unfortunately also give us some gravel well not unfortunately because we have the uh, survival uh, daily needs mod which actually needs some gravel so gravel is fine as well but we don't need that much of it so let's see how are we doing here let's turn on some lights shall we so we have some stone we need to go get some more ice we had 300 in the so the H2O2 generator, but that's not going to be nearly enough. Alright, we are full. And we are quite far down, so let's use our jetpack. Sorry about that. Just needed to sneeze. Alright. So, here we have the survival kit, and we can stick all of this stone in here. The organics won't go in there. So, we need to start making ingots and we are producing iron nickel and silicon from this and gravel so this means that we can start uh, building pretty soon but where, where did i dig the hole there let's widen it a little bit so it's a little easier to see so I think we're going to have to go down maybe three times and get iron. And then we will probably have enough to build a basic base. Pick all this stuff up. And keep digging. And we'll just dig out to the sides here. Okay, now up here we're in this sandy dirt stuff, we don't get as much stone as we do down here in the actual uh, bedrock. And so we want to be digging in the bedrock. And not the sand stuff. Okay, let's see, that's quite a lot of or nuggets see if we can get full on this i think we can yeah no problem all right let's get back out of here whoops oh where's the door there okay so stick uh, this stone in there we're getting some organics as well, which we need for the, um, oh, but where, where's, where's my hole? can't see it. Where's the hole? Uh, hello? Looks like it should be over here. Yeah, right, you know what, I'm gonna right click a bit. That will not produce any ore nuggets, but 
it will widen the hole quite a lot faster. Just so we can see where it is and we don't have to look for it every time. Uh, let's see. Let's dig this out as well. This one. Right, that's better. I think we should be able to find it now. Let's get back down there, pick up the rest that is already here, and get one more full load. And I think that should be enough to get started. Okay. Now, in the top left corner, we have some indicators. We have a knife and fork, we have a water drop, and we have a head, I guess. I suppose it's the brain. So that's uh, our food, water, and rest needs that we have up there. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that and get some food and water going as soon as we can. Okay. In the bottom left, we have uh, some bars as well. The top one, the plus, is our health, then we have our oxygen, then we have our suit power, and our hydrogen. So we don't need to have our helmet closed here on the Earth-like planet, so I have opened it here. You can see down in the bottom left that it's open. We do need to keep an eye on our hydrogen and our power, though. Okay, last batch of stone. And that gives us enough that we can start uh, building, I think. We're going to need at least 30 girders. We need some interior plates, some uh, construction components, some computers, a few displays, a lot of steel plate, and some motors. I think that will do for now. And we actually have enough to build it all, it seems like. So that's good. Alright, so where do we want to build our starter base? Somewhere relatively flat. So. It, and it is just a starter base, so I think we'll just build it right here where we are, actually. Whoops, that was a bit high to turn off the jetpack. So let's... Oh, I need to grab some stuff to build it, of course. And this starter base is very, very temporary. And we'll grab some of this stuff. And that'll do for now, I suppose. So, let's see. Let's just stick in a block here. We'll build a little base for the base. Foundation for the base. And we'll make it, I think, Four wide and maybe one longer something like that I think we'll do for a start then we need to build up a bit because we need power and to generate power we're going to build some wind generators wind turbines and the higher up they are the more efficient they are we'll just go up here and build those stick in one and we can start welding it together here but we need more we need computers and motors to complete it okay so hopefully our survival kit here has made some of that for us we do have some motors 
And we do have some computers. All right. There we go. Our very first wind turbine is up and running. Then we need to build some other stuff. The first thing I want is a basic refinery. And I want that here. Let's see. Put it like that. Because the basic refinery can refine ores and actual uh, iron ore and nickel ore and stuff like that. And not just rock. And the ores are much more efficient than the, the rock. But we need some steel plate. And go we're going to need more steel plate than that. So we just saw something over here. A spirit of Le Monde, whatever that is. I have never played with these mods before, so I don't know what to expect, really. I haven't actually played the game that much, so I will be learning a little bit as we go along. Okay, there we go. We have a basic refinery. And it's powered as well. If we go into the control panel, we can see that our wind turbine is generating 363.93 kilowatts. All right, so there's our refinery. Then we need a assembler. And the assembler is going to go, I think over here. And what do we need for that? We need computers, displays, and motors. Okay, we should be able to get that. Uh, let's see, there's some motors. Let's just grab a hundred, I guess. Some displays and some computers. All right, and get that built. Okay, so now we have the basic assembler, which can uh, produce m more items than the uh, the survival kit can. So we can now make power cells, uh, magazines, uh, small steel tubes, stuff like that. So that's very, very good. Okay, the next thing we want is if we just go over to a new hotbar here we want a food resequencer we want a cargo container a medium one no a small one and we want a h2o2 generator and we'll also want a survival kit so the survival kit is where we respawn right now. We would want one of those. Now the food resequencer, I think will stick in here. Like so. And what do we need for that? Steel plate, girders, construction components. And I don't think we have enough iron to get all of that. No, we don't. We are out of iron. So let's drop some of these items off. So, and we'll go fill up our, so here we can heal up and we can also power up our suit. So we are at full power again now. And then we'll just refill our hydrogen bottle here. Like that. 
And then I think we will take a little flight around and see if we can't find some iron ore deposits. So let's just fly along the ground here and see if we can't find some of that. Now, I know that if you fly up high, sometimes you can see that there are deposits. There's sort of some spots on the ground, but I am colorblind, so I have a really hard time seeing them. There might be some over there. Maybe. Let's see. Nope, doesn't look like it. And we are not finding anything right now. Would be so sweet to find an iron deposit. Come on. Hmm. Don't hit the trees, that hurts. And, oh, we have iron. We found iron. So here we have some iron somewhere. And where there's one resource deposit, there's usually another. So let's, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Let's just get a... Uh, GPS marker down here and say iron. And actually, let's just stick down to it now and take some home with us. So, right now, I'm holding right click instead of left click, which means that we're just digging a hole. We're not gathering any ores. Mm -hmm. Because I just want to get down to the iron. Iron. I don't want all this stone. So let's get down there. Almost there. Come on. Show me the iron. There we go. That's iron. So let's wrap that up. We will get some stone as well, but never mind that. It's fine. Right. Look at all that iron. It's beautiful. Okay. Not full yet. We want a full load. So let's see. Is this enough? Nope. Almost. That will be enough. All right. And let's get out of here. Whoa. Okay. So there's an unknown signal over there, which we want to go and investigate. We can get some materials from those. We can get some better tools, stuff like that. And also some, some skins for our suit and uh, tools and weapons and stuff. All right. So we have our refinery here. So we can stick this stuff in there, and that will make a whole bunch of iron for us. And let's go get the nickel and silicon out of here. Uh, nickel and silicon. And we might as well pick up the gravel as well. Actually, we want to move everything over there, so we'll just pick up everything. And we want everything here in the 
Oh, some of it in the assembler because we don't have a cargo container yet. So we'll just stick it. Why won't it go over there? There we go. There. We want the nickel, the silicon, and the iron in there as well. And we can drop these things off because this assembler can actually make those. And we can stick them in there. And then we want the stone in here. We can pick up this stuff, stick the gravel in there for now. Give this the iron, the nickel, and the silicon. And what did we need to make this thing? We needed steel plate girders and construction components. How many girders? 30? No, that was construction components. Six. Okay. So. We will say production will make 20 girders, 100 steel plate, and 100 construction components. And we actually do have those and those. I think we have everything now to build this thing. Yes, we did. And look at that. I think that is so cool. I think that is insanely cool. With that little thing in there with fruit on it, and yeah, I, I really like with this mod, it looks awesome. So, we can stick the organic in there, we can stick the gravel in there. Uh, where's the gravel? Uh, where's the gravel there? And Then we need some ice to stick in there as well. So I think we'll fill up our bottle here. Uh, fill up that and grab the ice and we'll stick that over there. And that means that we can now produce some water. Let's produce 10 water and 10, actually 20 water and 10 synthetic foods. Uh, so, as we then need, uh, some of that up here make the food and now we can see that our water level came up we were down to around 40 and we drank a bit of water and we got some of this gray wastewater which is i don't really know what we can do with yet but now we have a bit of survivability so let's stick these things in here oh not you you and you and I think we'll fly over to the lake we saw and get some ice I hope the lake is over that way don't think it is though where's the lake the lake is over that way but we're gonna need I, I want this unknown signal, so let's go to the unknown signal first, and then to the lake, and then back. So we can turn off our inertial dampeners and save a bit of fuel on the way. That means that we're just coasting, really. And once we get close, let's turn them back on and move in. Now, some of these are really annoying and start rolling away from you and flying away from you and stuff. Okay, so we've got a bit of water, some saberoid meat, whatever that is, and some organics. And then we want to find the button, there it is, and see if we get a special item. 
We did. We got skeleton gloves. Cool. Let's grind this down, grab the materials from it. Might as well. And... That's that. Okay. What's that? Harpy. Go away, Harpy. We don't want to do here. So, uh, ice lake was over there. So let's head that way. Grab some ice. And we might as well pull out our drill. Maybe we get lucky that we see some ores on the way, though I don't think so, because we're up too high. But there are ores down there on the lake. You can see those spots there on the lake. That means that there's something around. So there's silicon and magnesium. Nice. So let's put down a... GPS here. Go uh, from current position and say so mag. Normally there are three different uh, materials together. So there might be something else. It might be the ice though that there's ice down in the ground. Because I do the ice lakes don't really show up as ice. Right. Let's grab some delicious ice so that we can fill our hydrogen bottle and make delicious beverages. Okay. Now magnesium is going to be important as well because that's we need that for magazines. And we need to find some cobalt, which we need to make uh, metal grids and stuff like that. Okay, almost full. There we go, we're full. Let's head back to the base. and fill up on ice the respawn pod we're not we weren't actually as far away from the ice lake as i thought we were which is good so we want we actually want to build and H2O2 generator. I think I want it here. Uh, goes like that. And whoops. Let's see. What do we need to build that? Can we build it? We can build it with stuff we have, but. We don't have any space in our inventory, so let's just stick the ice in here for now. And fill that up while we're here anyway. And do, do we have anything in here? No. Alright. So, what did we need? We needed some construction components, definitely some steel plate, interior plate probably also. Steel tubes we needed, motors, maybe girders, maybe those, probably displays. We need more steel plate in order to get it up and running. So let's make some steel plate, some small steel tubes, and that's it for now. I think that's enough steel plate to 
finish this up. Yep. Right, there's our H2O2 generator. Then we want a cargo container. But we can't place that down until we have everything we need for it. Because we will block ourselves off from using the assembler. Because I want the cargo container in here. We need small steel tubes. We have enough interior plate, I think. Um, do we? Maybe. Let's make some interior plate so that we know that we have enough. Uh, then we do have enough of everything. I am almost certain. So let's stick down our cargo container here, like so, and get that built. Ah, we need computers. Dang it. Okay. But we don't have any computers. Okay, that's enough. Now we do have enough. All right, cargo container. So the cargo container links up all of this stuff. So all of these have access to the cargo container, which is great. So if we stick this in the cargo container, that's scrap metal, it will go directly over to the refinery and be turned into iron. And we can pull that down and stick it into the assembler. We can take stuff out of the assembler and stuff like that via this uh, cargo container. So the last thing that we need to do to make this base whole is actually grind down our survival kit and stick it on here and we're going to stick it over here and that's the survival kit right yeah and we'll rotate it like that and we'll build it All right, so now we have the basics. We can build what we need to survive and so on. So I think that's a pretty good start. So I think we are going to leave it here for this episode, guys. Uh, I hope that you will enjoy the show, uh, the, the, the game, because I really enjoy playing it. It's a heck of a lot of fun and it's uh, very complex actually. So yeah, I hope that you uh, enjoy watching as much as I enjoy playing because I would like to play this a lot. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.